Right, so welcome to another video. Uh, today, oh, this is Sam by the way, he normally records the videos. Um, what we're doing is, my hair looks madness in this light. What we're doing is, um, we're just going to go through when we started training and some advice that we've got for beginners. Obviously, neither of us have been training like ridiculous periods of time, but we thought we'd help out where we could uh, and just go through our advice and what we'd do differently. Um, so I've got a couple of questions written down. Um, when did we start? When did you start? Uh, I started, in fact, another exact date. Started December 1st. What year was it last year? 2018. 2017. So I've been training 13 months. That's all I've been training weight wise. Obviously, I was boxing and stuff before that, but lifting weights 13 months. What about you? Um, I've been training for about. My first joined the gym when I was 14. Uh, never trained properly, never knew how to train. Uh, started training properly, probably for about what? Last six to eight months, just with you, training properly. Other than that, trained for about three years, but then I have a clue. We used to just do like one set on every, every machine, that was it. Mm -hmm. um, next question, why did you start training? Uh, I started because obviously I'd had enough of boxing and all that. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'd, I'd had fights, I'd won fights, but I was, I was never gonna make it look like, big or anything like that. So I thought all, all the people around me, it's probably a big thing to point out, were bodybuilders, and most of them still are. Like, all my close pals, a lot of them are bodybuilders. So, like, when I started training, I had the right people around me to train properly, like, from the offset. And with being around, like, big guys all the time, and guys who were lifting weights all the time, it's more so just I wanted to do that. Um, and a big thing was I started watching Rich Piana's videos, and I was like, that guy looks sick. Um, and that, that made me want to basically start lifting. What, what about you? Um, why did I start? Uh, I used to play football um, quite competitively. Uh, used to train just literally pure cardio all the time. Um, that's why I started, just to keep my fitness up. Um, dropped out of football and then just literally started gaining more weight. Fell in love with the fact that I was putting more muscle on. And um, ever since I've just just carried on training. And that's literally it. It's short and simple. Played football. Used the gym for my fitness. You shit at football. Um, <laughs> used the gym for fitness. Then started a bulk. Loved the fact that I was putting muscle on. And then ever since that, I've just carried on going six times a week. Pretty consistently. Uh, that leads on to actually um, how long have we tried for? Which we've kind of had well, to do. Had that one. So yeah, you get 13 months. 13 months. Um, probably a year, seriously. Diet. Um, Talk about diet to me, Joe. Yeah, I'm probably not the best person to ask at the minute because <laughs> uh, I'm bulking. And the, the thing is with me is I have to eat loads and loads to put on like size. Like, I, I can't eat like say six clean meals. Like, I won't. I won't move in weight. I have to eat a lot of food to put on size. Um, so a lot of what I eat. Like, I eat clean meals and then I eat dirty food around that. So I'll have like, my chicken and my rice. Uh, turkey mints, all that kind of stuff. But then, if I want a pizza, I'll have a pizza at the minute. Mm. Obviously, when my cut starts, my show it's going to be different. More it'll strict. be yeah, it'll be like strict set meals, set calories, set macros every day. Uh, but I, I, I don't see at this stage anyway the point in doing that to yourself all year round, uh, not really enjoying anything. Um, but yeah, once I start my cut, it'll be different. Obviously, I've only done one cut previously and that was just for a holiday it wasn't for a show or anything but this time around because we're doing it for a show it'll be a lot more serious and a lot more intense it's full on wasn't it mm. uh, my diet is I'm bulking as well at the minute I've been bulking properly since uh, I don't know about four months now uh, so my diet is literally just fully carb loading getting as many calories in I'm on about 4,000 calories at the minute um, get in. To run through it properly, it's literally wake up, about three to four scrambled eggs, a uh, bagel, and then I have a bowl of oats with yogurt and Nutella, then uh, white meat with rice and broccoli, uh, I train, when I train I have a uh, Vitargo and creatine intra workout, after that I have a bowl of cereal uh, for my carbs, and then uh, on the night just usually a bagel so but I've never never knew how to diet before that got someone to sort me out a diet plan and stuck to that and it's worked put on about 
Probably like Stone and Arf. Yeah, you've put on a lot since you've been training with me. Yeah. Shout out Stephen London for his diet plan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nah, it's good. It's a good diet plan to be fair. I've put on. I started my started my bulk on what? <sighs> I couldn't even tell you. It's about eleven and a half stone. Yeah, it's about eleven and a half. Now I'm thirteen stone, thirteen two. So Absolutely. it's good. It's good man. Next good question. Songs. When he unlocks his phone. <laughs> How many times a week do we train? Uh, when I first started, I, I trained all the time, and it it didn't stop my progress. Don't be wrong, I put on size really quick. Um, but now I probably train five or six days a week. Uh, I kind of rest when my body tells me to, sort of thing. So as you know, I've been getting a couple of light injuries lately. I just don't want that to develop. So I'll, I'll probably say I'd say five or six days a week. I train, rest for a day or two a week. That's about it really, it's pretty simple. One. Yeah, mine's pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, so we train together most yeah. of the time. Yeah, uh, that's it. Just rest. Rest when we need to, don't we really? We don't take unnecessary rests. Um, no excuses. I mean, last night we were training at 10 o'clock, so if it's got to be done, it's got to be done, isn't it, Joe? Mm. It's just a, it's a fine line, really. You don't want to overtrain, but you, you definitely don't want to undertrain either. So you, you sort of just got to listen to your body, but just not be a bit trivial mm, sort of thing. Don't miss. Don't miss days that, that you don't need to. Okay, uh, so from a beginner's point of view, what would you do differently if you used to start training right now? To be fair, the the one and only thing I do differently, and it's because I had good guidance around me when I started, but I tried to train the same as them. So I was training the same as guys who've been lifting five, six years. Don't get me wrong, I put on size quick, but the only thing I do differently, I've always done a muscle group a day, splits obviously, arms, legs, shoulders, back, chest. Whereas if I was a beginning now, I'd do push pull, uh, so push pull legs, push pull legs. I, I'd do that purely because I get my overall size up. Like mm. for a long time, my back and my legs were lacking, but I'd say I've brought them up now. My back's probably my back's a lot stronger to what it was. My legs have put on size as well. Because obviously, I want to move on to doing bodybuilding eventually. Uh, I don't want to do physique like permanently or anything. So I, I need big legs. Um, I think it's important to stay symmetrical. Mm. Uh, so definitely doing push pull legs you will definitely stay symmetrical whereas when I first started I didn't have a clue what I was doing I was literally just hitting every machine once mm. and uh, like my arms were growing bigger than my legs my biceps bigger than my calves just everything was out of proportion so again I'd make sure my split was spot on uh, diet as well obviously I was, I was training well when I I first tried to bulk before this for about probably eight weeks but didn't understand how important a diet was mm. um, so I was burning more calories than I was taking in yeah unless so your food's on progress. point you're never going to grow so diet's important sleep as well yeah get get about seven seven hours sleep can be hard but yeah. you just got to try and get it in um, another thing as well is in terms of your splits just look online for them like no, it's gonna happen. It's a battery. Bit of malfunction. Um, right, but in terms of your splits as well, just look on YouTube. Like, there's enough videos out there that just tell you how to do a split. Like, this is coming from a personal trainer. Don't go paying mad money to some IFBB pro coach when when you're a beginner. It's be pointless. Like, obviously, that's a bit of a drastic example, but you can literally you can look online for how to train, or if you've got friends who train, or if you go to a gym, just ask a guy in there can be a bit like, nerve-wracking and stuff, but that's the best thing you can do. Either do push-pull legs or an upper-lower split. Mm -hmm. They're probably the two best ones I could suggest for beginners. And nail your diet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your views uh, for a beginner, not anyone else, on supplements? If you're a beginner... Do they, do they need supplements if you're just starting off? Never been to gym. Do I need supplements? No. Nah, it's, it's probably... Like, a lot of people have got it in their head, oh, start lifting, I need whey protein, but you're getting your head, it's a supplement. Like your diet needs to be there first. You just take it for extra calories. Like I take away for for calories I physically can't eat. Like the only supplement I'd say to take if you're a beginner, if you need it, is if you're an office worker and drained at the end of the day or manual worker drained at the end of the day, is start with a really light week pre workout because all it is essentially is a strong energy drink. Mm. Like see, it, I I like pre workouts, but I think if you're beginning, you can become reliant on them. Yeah, don't so overuse. Don't, don't rely on them because like, they're, they're good you get like a good buzz but if you're using them for every training session the buzz just goes and then 
but there's yeah. no there's no point in even using it. And just start on a really mild one. Like I started when I first started taking pre workout, I took C4 and it's really mild. Um, and it's, I drink a lot of energy drinks as well, which isn't good for me. But even off that, I was like, okay, I feel like I want to train now. And that'd be after like I used to work from like five o'clock in the morning, do like a 12 hour shift, and then go to the gym straight after. But doing using a pre-workout helps but don't use it every day like over a weekend I'll, I'll never touch pre-workouts because i don't need them i've rested nearly all day uh i'll probably use a pre-workout what once twice a week even now yeah like there's no point over them, using we mm. hardly touch them um are you using any supplements at the minute uh i'll take creatine uh one bulk and obviously that'll stop when i'm cutting uh whey protein um, I can't pronounce it properly, it's diametizer, it's diametizer, diametizer, I always say it wrong. Uh, take BCAs, um, you don't really need them when you're bulking, it's just because my water intake's really low, I drink a lot of sugary drinks, so if I put BCAs in my drinks, it'll make me drink water. It's expensive way of doing it, but I like it, so I'll do it. Um, Anything else? You can just use squash, obviously. Other than that, I eat a lot of grenade carb killer bars, but that's, that's more so for the taste than anything, and mm. the fact it's high protein, so it gets my protein intake up. For um, me, it's just... Um, I have my Vitago, um, which is literally just powdered carbs. Uh, I have two scoops of that with my creatine. That's literally just to get the carbs in. I have that for when I'm training. Um, and since having that as well, I've seen myself blow up, to be fair. That's really good. Um, I've, I have a mass gainer, but that, like Joe says, that is literally for getting in calories that I physically can't eat. Um, I don't take it unnecessarily. It's it's not a meal replacement it's as well as for calories i can't get in a problem as well with mass gain is you won't need it if you're beginner don't touch mass gain as if you're beginner get it off food you'll get enough calories 100%. but with mass gainers look at what it contains because a lot of them a lot of the high calorie ones that are like 800 000 calories a drink are full of shit yeah there's loads of sugar in it as well like um, look for a good quality mass gainer uh, i'm trying to think who make good ones to be honest i mean my ones mine's the um I think mine's the US, mine could be the US one, N1. I can't be too sure. Muscle Farm make a good one, I can't think what it's called. <sighs> but I, I'm not even going to spend, like, I, I, I could be naming off really enough shit here. Google it, just Google what, what they've got in and look at ones that have got good quality ingredients and aren't just full of mm. sugar and crap to get the calorie intake up. Because you, you're just putting shit in your body. Might as well go and eat a like, tub of Harry Bows, to be honest. Yeah, like, just think, look for high quality, five to six hundred calorie mass gainers. I think if you're, in, if you're a beginner going into a gym as well and you see someone that you like you want to look like just don't be scared to go to them and ask them what what supplements i have mm, but obviously just be, be wary they'll have been training for a long time you just the, the best advice we can give probably going off on a tangent here is don't take supplements when you first start maybe research them after, mm. after a few months to a year you, you really don't need them when you first start, start it's just a, a waste of money to be honest because um, you're gonna grow i got another question what what age would you say you should, like, if you want to get into training looking good, um, what age should you start at? Yeah, I'd say, like, well, it, like obviously cardio you can do whenever you want, mm. but weightlifting and weightlifting properly, I'd say probably seven, 16, 17 upwards, because you, you're moving on to a fully grown adult then. You kind of know how your body works, like, you're pretty developed then, so I, I'd say then, but I wouldn't really start, and if you're going to start earlier than that, just... Be smart with it, do cardio, take up boxing, something like that, something that's going to get you in good shape, but you're not going to stunt your growth or reckon in your body. Yeah. I'll bet well, you. I agree, to be fair. I started it. started touching weights when I was like 17. Yeah, I started uh, at what, 19? Yeah. Like, t first properly, like, I'd say playing with weights because it literally was just, just get a feel for them if you're, if you're scared. But again, um, best advice if you don't know what you're doing. Um, just have a look on YouTube, it's YouTube. Every, it, everything is out there you don't need to spend is this is someone who sells training plans you don't need to be spending mad money on training plans if you're a beginner just YouTube it get get a split uh, there's an app the, the bodybuilding app it, it's got beginner splits on it just follow one of them like and, until you know it's something you want to spend time and effort into and you really enjoy it there's no point spending money on it which is the point we're trying to get across mm -hmm. really yeah um, um, I think we've we have we we spoke about everything that we wanted to speak about. Yeah, that's pretty literally, much Literally, we wanted to focus a conversation on, literally, kind of an introduction to us, um, how we try and what we do, but most importantly, what a beginner needs to do if you're looking at getting into a gym. Mm. So. Well, cool. So that is it. The only thing um, I want to mention, actually, is obviously Inked Athletics. Uh, we've got, at the minute, 
a competition on the page, on the Instagram page. I'll link it below. You can see it on that. Like, so you haven't got to listen to me just chat shit for the next five minutes. Mm-hmm. But uh, basically, enter the competition. You can win a free hoodie that they're launching yeah, hopefully this hoodies, week. Basically, yeah, one of them hoodies, a white one, a blue one, or a black one. It's, it's, super, it's super easy. Basically, just follow the page, shout us out, and then get entered into a raffle. And it's the first of Feb, starting to die. We've already got over 20, 20 people entered. So. Right, cool then. Uh, so that's it for this video. Let us know down below what you think uh, and let us know what you want the topic to be for the next one. We'll do this every week. The videos will come out every Wednesday. Um, so just let me know what you want for the next video and we will catch you next week. There you go. <laughs>